T Fit people, Fit Bully TV. Genetics. Oh shit, let me start this over. Genetics. <laughs> and then we have Darwin. Those two things, what do you know about them? How do they affect your program? What is it that you need to know? How can having that information better you and what you're attempting to do um, in your house, your backyard, whatever the case may be? Well, genetics, in my opinion, are everything. You know, what would happen if you put a child, if Mike Tyson and Serena Williams had a kid, what would be your expectations? <laughs> You'd be like, Lord have mercy, that kid's gonna be able to do anything. Well, when we're breeding two dogs, from a pheno standpoint, we're looking at both muscle, structure, in this case, conformation and health. Breathability, good nares, depending on what breed, but even in the bully breed, now that they've added the bulldog, some of the dogs have taken on the brachiocephalic style of, 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 of breathing, and that in itself poses a lot of issues because the dogs, in some cases, overheat a lot quicker, so they cannot do because they've sold you the concept of the bully breed, a bully being a companion breed specifically, and that's fair. But for me and my companion, we need to be able to move. <laughs> so it's important that I breed what we call a fit bully. And that bully itself needs to do what? Function. And function in the highest level. That's for me. That's my style per se. Now, the unfortunate part about it is we, as I repeat, we have gone through a terrible experience. If you watched the last video, and we lost a female. And I knew and I've told and my disappointment in the losing of this female is I knew that this particular female that we have was going to pose quite a few issues. And I've said it now for two years straight, that this was unfortunately going to be an expectation. And no matter what I did, how healthy the dog I took her to, she was still going to cause me some fucking problems. And unfortunately, she did. But what does that help me do to help you? I go back and I do more research on genetics. And even more importantly, from a scientific standpoint, I plan on finding ways to find protein markers to better inform you on things you could do to prevent the problems that we just faced from happening to you. I said in the last video that the Nova Scotia water dog, I believe, I text so uh, Ruben, follow my guy Ruben, and I'll at some point tag his stuff in there. I don't think he has enough followers yet. But it's the Nova Scotia water dog, the water spaying water dog, is the only dog that has a protein marker for cleft palates. Again, what does protein do? It builds and in our building we can find these things in terms of the genetics and say oh if I take these two things together it's composed this issue or at least there'll be 50 percent of the dogs that hit this problem so you say how did a dog who doesn't even come from a cleft palate space like we, like hotshot even contribute to this well he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't at all the female in this case unfortunately her genetics are so strong that she won, and that's not a good thing. I took her to, in my opinion, one of the healthiest dogs I could take her to, who has no issues, and she still fucked things up, to say the least. But from a scientific standpoint, at the end of the day, we're all doing research and hoping for the best. There are only a few things and few people out there even working to find the information to really put you in a position to do the best. And I repeat, if there was anything I could have done, scientifically speaking, to learn to test, to be sure that taking this dog and that dog would have prevented this issue, I would have done it. I don't like guessing. This isn't a guessing man's game, in my opinion. I'm taking a dog's life very serious. And the work that goes into keeping these dogs alive, very serious. Very serious. It is not uh, a cheap road that we're walking down. And we'll do a video on about what it costs to really maintain, keep, and sustain healthy dogs. For years, for that matter. <laughs> it's not even about getting them to their first breeding, which should be done at earliest a year and a half or two. It's about making sure that these dogs live a good life for forever if we never breed them. So, as I repeat, learn about genetics, look into Darwin, look into natural selection, look into survival of the fittest, per se. Um, find solutions or help me find solutions if you have information so that we can collect data to improve overall, I used to be in the fitness space, patient outcomes. In this case, 
breeding and dog outcomes so we can better their lives and better our own so we don't have to keep living through this this hell and taking these risks and stressing our, our ourselves out or the people who care a lot uh, about you know our puppies there are people who have been waiting now for a year and a half for some of the puppies and dogs i put together and guess what i have to give them some bad news and that's one of the worst things in the world because technically i would have gave given them one of these dogs if i could because they're that good for me it's not about the money we're going to be okay long term but what the problem is is with so many things being done wrong in my opinion with the american bully the bully's backed into a corner that similar to the, of the German Shepherd and its bad hips. You, uh, and I don't know all the facts, but again, that dog probably has some of the worst hips in the world. <laughs> and part of it's due to how tight the blood has been ran for years and years and years. So again, learn about genetics, hit us up, subscribe, ask as many questions as possible. Our job here is to inform, educate, we're going to be a little entertaining at times. We're definitely going to have fun, but we're going to showcase everything. Our wins, our losses, our successes, our failures, our opportunities to be better. And we hope that it helps you and your program and your house for that better. If you just got a dog, you want to be a better dog. I'm going to put information out there so you could do that. T-Fit, Fit Bully TV signing off.